you want to create amazing looking product bundles just like the one you're looking at right now which only took me a few minutes to design and put together well in this video training and tutorial i'm going to show you step by step exactly how to do it using nothing but free tools Hey, my name is Aurelius Chen and on this channel, I share training and tutorials on how to build a digital product business that gives you the freedom to work when, where, and how you want to. If that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos I release on this channel. Right, so if you're a digital creator, an online marketer, or a coach who simply needs a product bundle image or an e-cover for your product or service to display, on your website, then this tutorial is exactly for you. I'm gonna share with you two specific tools that work hand in hand to create beautifully looking product bundle covers or ebook covers, whatever you'd like to choose. And we'll go through all the options that you can go through or create for your product or service. All right, so without further ado, let's head onto the screen so I can show you step-by-step -step how to go about it. Okay, so the first tool you're going to need is called Smart Mockups. And as the name of the service suggests, it is a service that will enable you to create uh, mockups, not only product uh, mockups or screen mockups or ebook mockups. You can also create t shirt mockups too, and even mug mockups. So if you want to put your brand or label on that so that you can display it online for people to see what it looks like, then you can use one of their templates to display it. This is the one I created before, and literally it only took me a few minutes. So you don't need to be tech savvy to do this. You don't need any creativity, although of course it helps, but with the next tool that I'm gonna show you, and one that's required is called Canva. You're going to have all these templates that you can use anyway, which are already pre-designed. So again, you don't need any creativity or skills for that matter. Now to get started, let's go to Smart Mockups, and this is where you can go and sign up. So the first thing you're going to do is sign up Although I'm already logged in, so I don't need to sign up, but sign up for a free account. Now they do have other options if you do want to upgrade, starting at $9 per month, uh, billed annually for their premium uh, service, which includes login for one user account, all the mockups that are provided in the premium set, uh, weekly new mockups, URL screenshots, customizations, unlimited exports, integrations, and so much more. Now, if you do decide to use uh, one of their premium or upgraded options, then you will be given more templates. And I'll show you exactly what this means for you. So I'm logged in already, so all I need to do is head on to all mockups. And as you can see, it's not just for mockups around eBooks and digital products. You can see it's also for iPhones and smartphones. And we've got t-shirts here, uh, print mockups. We've got mugs and cups and also cans and social media mockups. So these are all useful in terms of displaying whatever you want on the web, on your website. So on the left, you can see the different types of mockups you can uh, initiate or sorry, you can create and start. And the one in particular we want to create for this demo is an e-learning bundle. So we simply click e-learning bundle and from there we can choose what style we want. The one I use for the demo was this one here. Now the reason why I use that is because this is a free option. We can simply uh, tell by looking at the little icon. We can see whether it's free or not by finding that little yellow lock uh, icon, which shows premium mockup. Uh, so that's unlocked for me since I do have a uh, premium account. And for you, you'll need to upgrade to use any of the mockups which uh, do not aren't included in the free plan. So in order to get started, you can very well use and get away with the free options. And let's start with that. Let's click on this one here where it shows a software bundle on Mac Pro with changeable colors. The first thing I wanna do is just change the background of the color just so we can see how it looks like, how it would look like on our website. So I'm gonna change the background here and clicking on this icon here. 
we are presented with any all these solid colors, or you can choose a gradient, and this is what it looks like. That looks pretty slick there, but I'm gonna keep it simple, keep it white, since most websites uh, background are white. I'm just gonna choose white for that. Now, the next thing we want to do is go back to images and take note of the different types of covers we are going to need to upload so that this, your design here, uh, placeholder, will be replaced by your actual design. All right, with that said, all you need to do is just upload from and then upload an image. And because we haven't designed it yet, that's the step we need to take now. So the first thing we wanna do, I like to usually start with the book cover. So in order to design a book cover, let's head on to Canva. Now, once you're in Canva, sign up for a free account. There are many templates to choose from with a free account. You can also upgrade to Canva Pro, which enables more features, just like any other service, more photos to use, more templates to use. But we can use whatever's available for free if we don't want to upgrade anyway. So even if you're on a budget, on a shoestring budget, and you don't want to spend too much, especially if you're just a startup and you're, you haven't made any profit yet in your business, this is a good option. So the first thing we want to do is create a design right here. And we want to choose a custom uh, dimension for what we're going to create. And for that, we want to take note of the dimensions right here. So the great thing about Smart Mockups is they actually let you know, they note down what the size of the dimension should be if you want that to fit exactly. So we've got a thousand pixels wide by 1600 high. We simply input that into the custom and custom dimensions, which I've done previously. And I'm gonna hit create design. That will take me to the canvas where I can now customize and design my ebook template. What I can do from here is to search for templates. I'm gonna choose ebook. And this will give me a range of ebook templates that I can use. For the sake of this demo, I do wanna show you how I created uh, the previous one before, which I showed you in the demo or at the start of this video. And that's this one here. And as we hover over each of these templates, we can actually see which one's free. As you can see, it shows free at the bottom corner. If we click that, it'll then load it onto the template that we just uploaded or started. Now from here, it's simple as, as simple as clicking what we want. It's a what you see is what you get type of editor and design tool, which I love. And with this method, you know, Canva plus smart mockups, you really don't need Photoshop, which can be quite costly if you're paying on a monthly basis. So I'm gonna call this yoga one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, you need to put your own title here, depending on what it is. So I'm simply dragging that so that it'll fit nicely. And then I can just move it where I want. And we can see where the center is by looking at the purple dotted line that goes in the middle. And I'm gonna drag this corner here to make it bigger and just uh, move it again to the center. There's extra text here. Whether we decide to use that or not, we can decide, all right? And simple, as simple as right-clicking, deleting, if we don't want it. But in this case, I'm just gonna put a beginner's guide to yoga. And there's also another subtitle here, which you can utilize if you want to, otherwise you can delete it. Now, I'm just gonna put some placeholder text. It doesn't really matter. Really wanna just show you how to use this. At the bottom, you can put your name, but I'll leave that as is. Same steps, just click it, put, put your name, add your name there. The next step is to change the actual photo here. We can click this, delete it. And now we're presented with this uh, vector image, which obviously we don't want. And go to photos and from here we can search for whatever we want. So let's say a building, we can search for different buildings here. As you hover, you can see which photos also are free and which one is paid. So we can see this has got a dollar sign, which means you need to actually purchase it. 
I'm just going to go back and search yoga and see what comes up. The one I selected was this very first one. If I click that once, it'll transfer it on here. But as, as I kind of dragged it around, it I'll repeat that again. As I dragged it, it found that area where it needs to fill. So as I did that, I don't need to resize in any way. It's as simple as just clicking and hovering it where I want. And it's already put it into that right position. So that looks pretty clean there. I like that. The next thing we want to do is just click save by clicking this down arrow and choosing a format. Because this has got a photo here, I want to select JPEG. Otherwise, if it's all just text and vector images, you want to select PNG. So you can ignore and disregard what it says G uh, suggested, but I'm just going to choose JPEG and choose download. I think if you, you can't even change the quality, set it at 80% and you need to upgrade in order to save it at a better high quality. But in my opinion, you can't tell with the human eye the difference between 80% and 100%. So I'm going to hit download. Preparing download and this pop-up will appear where it says try Canva Pro for free. Feel free to upgrade if you do want to. And we're going to go back to smart mockups. This is where we can then upload the book cover. So I'm going to do that right now. Clicking on upload image and there we go. Next step is to select and crop, but we don't need to crop anything since we have the perfect size in pixels. Crop and continue. And as you can see, it's simply placed it on that placeholder. Now, the next thing we can design is the CD. This one's a little more trickier because there is a hole right there in the middle, but the size we need to take note of is a thousand by a thousand. Let's go back to Canva, create a new design, this time selecting 1000. Again, simply go create a design, custom dimensions, a thousand by a thousand pixels. Create the design, there'll be a blank canvas. All we need to do is just find that photo that we use. And it usually shows in this area where it says recently used. So I'm going to click that once. And from here, I'm going to just drag it to the corner and use my mouse to resize it so that it fills the whole square. All right, so again, we need to take note of that whole of that CD. Let's go back and show you that right there. So if you are going to put an image, do consider that and you don't want a hole right there, which I kind of did in the demo, which you saw in the beginning. But now I know not to put it right there in the middle. We can move it. However, when we move it, we can see there's some gapping there. So instead of having that, we can keep dragging further until we actually get the right uh, size. So that looks pretty good there, even though this lady here is larger in size uh, after I've resized the image. But that's all you need to do. And actually we need to add the text. So add a heading. So go to text, add a heading, put in the title of your product. Next, I'm just gonna drag it somewhere to the top here, right there in the middle. Now you may or may not notice this, but the actual font is not consistent with the one we use for the ebook. So in order to kind of match it, we can simply go back to the ebook design, clicking the title once, and this is how you can tell which font uh, it's using. It's the Montserrat, Montserrat uh, Classic, if I said that right. So we're going back to this template. We just click that and search for Mon Montserrat. Not sure how to spell it, but it should come up here once they're a classic. And there we go. Now we just drag it so that uh, the size will increase like that. It's a little too large. Let's make it a bit smaller. Now to, in order to make it even more consistent, I noticed there's some gapping with the letters. So letter spacing. In order to put some letter spacing, we just select this, click on spacing, then letter. As you can see, there's more spacing in between each letter. So I'm pretty happy with that right there. I'm gonna go and download this as a JPEG, download it. 
Once you're there, go back to Smart Mockups and this time selecting Upload from under the CD, Upload Image. And again, we don't need to crop anything, just crop and continue. And it looks like that. Now, as you can see, it's quite cut off. So what I can do is just resize it in Canva to make it smaller, move it down a bit, but I'll leave it as is, but you get the idea. Now, the next thing is the MacBook Pro uh, Im uh, image here. In order to create that, again, we take note of that 1440 by 900, 1440 by 900, create the design. Now this size is a little different, just like all the other ones, but again, let's go to photos, search that image, and it's in the recently used. And I'm just gonna, again, resize it so that it fills the whole space. That looks pretty good there. Again, we're gonna add the text so that it shows what our product is. Yoga 101, drag it. And actually we shouldn't align it yet until we've resized everything and change the text again, same steps. We're gonna use the Monserrat. Never know how to pronounce that actually, so <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. Monserrat Classic, choosing the spacing, something like that, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna hit download. Once you're happy with your design, hit download and we are done. Let's go back to Smart Mockups now and upload that final design. Again, crop and continue. And just like that, and as easy as that, you have a professionally designed product bundle that you can use on your website. And of course, the final thing you can do is to either customize the background to either transparent. So if you're choosing transparent, then it's gonna take whatever background is on your website. Otherwise, if you want to keep it at a solid background, like let's say black or pink, uh, you can do so using that. Now you can also upload your own image here, upload your own background image, or you can just select transparency, which I will do. And from here, simply click download and choose your quality. All right, as easy as that, and as you saw in just a few minutes, I created a professionally looking product bundle that I can now use on my website. So what are your thoughts on using smart mockups with Canva? Feel free to comment below. And if you do have any questions regarding this video or anything I mentioned in this video, feel free to ask me just below in the comments field. I'd love to answer any questions or concerns you may have. If you found this video helpful, by all means, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future videos around online business and digital product creation. Thanks a lot for watching and looking forward to seeing you in the next video.